Hi everybody, Louise here with my 144 topics and this week I'm talking about where is your attention going? So I don't know if you've heard the phrase where your attention goes, energy flows. And that's really what this topic is about, is like, you know, looking to be a bit more mindful about where your attention is going, what things are you focusing and what things are you looking on. Um, and I've journaled this and I've seen it happen time and time again that, you know, you know, I, I believe in the law of attraction, that we create the realities that we create, we can create illness, which might not be for some people to listen to, you know, we create scenarios, we create relationships, we create, you know, it's very easy to shift and change things in our life, and the way that we can easily do that is, is with the energy. So it's me, the cat's meowing, and it's very windy and blowy out there, so if it suddenly starts raining, excuse the noise. So, um, you know, as a, our society as a whole tends to very much accentuate the negative, you know. We tend to look at, you know, we use fear and we use desire as means of motivating us and to encourage us to either move away from things or towards things. So, you know, when we're, when we're surrounded by fear and we're looking in the newspapers and we're looking at the news, it's like, <gasps> you know, it, it's, it's really done in a way to actually... To, to make us move or behave or whatever it is you want to, however you want to say that. So because society very much tends to look at the negative things, you know, it's, it's people will tend to complain or, or point out the problems as opposed to pointing out, you know, the beautiful things in our life. And it is changing, like it's definitely, definitely changing. You know, people are going out of their way with appreciation now, people are doing gratitudes now, people are, are starting to look to the positive side of things rather than being in a default of actually looking at the negative side of things. Many of the people I work with, you know, they're sort of raised in a critical environment, um, you know, they don't feel acknowledged or, you know, all those sort of things that can tend to make us look at the, the things that are wrong in our life as opposed to the things that, that are right or the things that we like. And I've done this myself. So when I was doing my psych co-facilitator training, you know, we use pos positive reinforcement or positive statements to actually start to reprogram the subconscious mind and when we were doing that I remember the person that I was working with at the time she was saying well, what do you want and I gave her a long list of things that I don't want but I actually found it really hard to give her a list of things that I do want and then when once I realized that and I was aware of that and I'm like yeah I'm, I'm talking in my life about things I don't want and I'm not really focusing on what I do want. So this is the first step of looking at where your attention's going. Like focus on what you want. Keep putting energy out into what you want. I also uh, follow Abraham, Esther Hicks, Abraham, um, you know, Esther Hicks, Abraham. So, you know, and she's been saying this for a long, 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 long time in, in her book, Ask and It Is Given, you know, the, the law of attraction belief is first you ask and you say, no, this is what I want. So I wasn't even doing step one. <laughs> step one wasn't happening because I'm too busy complaining about what I don't want, that I'm not actually focusing on what I do want. There was no energy going out into that. Step two is, you know, the energy the universe provides. It's all there. It's all there, everything's there. And step three is really about lining up to that. So allowing yourself to be that, to live, to feel that, to think that. So, you know, if there's things in your life that you want, so you want better health, health and money are probably the two biggest things that people talk about, you know, with health. You know, what does a healthy person do? What do they look like? What do they act like? What do they behave like? What things do they say? You know, look at all those things of, of what it is that you want to be having and start being that, start being the reality that you want to be. So I've mentioned before that in, you know, I've journaled myself four times now and I've written day to day like how I'm feeling, what's going on. And if I take the time to actually sit there and make the time to, to, to do that, to, you know, to, to wake up in the morning thinking about, you know, this is how I want my day to be to go to bed, you know, daydreaming about my how I want my future to be. You know, when we're putting out energy to that, and then with Abraham she calls it the vortex. So you're in the vortex, you've got that good feeling thing going. Yep, this is happening, this is what's happening, this is what's happening. It happens all the time. Another example, this might happen to you as well. So, 
you know, you're looking for something, you can't find it, it's not here, it's not here, it's gone, it's gone. And then we sort of say, we let it go, and it's just happened to me right now. Um, I put a bit of licorice somewhere <laughs> last week, and I couldn't find it. And then I let it go, and then I was just looking, I was like, oh, there it is. <laughs> so, you know, how many times has that happened to you? You've lost your keys, you can't find something, and then you just let it all go, um, and then it appears. And that's because, and not just losing things, other things in your life. You want something to happen, you want it, you want, and then you sort of let it go. Um, and then it, it happens. So, having said, I you know I know that I'm saying that you want something, but it's very much about what space you're coming from. So you know, it's the cup half full, cup half empty sort of thing. So if you're saying to yourself, you know, I'm unhealthy or I'm overweight or I'm, you know I've got no money, like all that sort of stuff, that's really coming from a lack mentality. Okay, so you know the thing to do would be to come from a full mentality or an abundant mentality. You know, there is plenty, you know, there's lots coming in for me, things are always happening for me, things are always working for me. I'm always welcoming these change. So the conflict can happen is the fact that, you know, we want something and we feel that we're here and, you know, there's the big gap between that. So when we say that we want it and we know that it's not happening in a reality, then we can actually feel discord you know or we can actually not feel good about that so my advice when you're putting attention into something that you want is to is to sometimes take small steps you know every day I get healthier and happier you know there's always pl there's plenty for everybody you know um, there's great things are always happening to, to, <clears throat> to me in my life the other thing that I do as well is I will say phrases again and again sometimes a hundred times and it's just you know, I'm a value, I'm a value, I'm important, I'm important. Whatever it is, whatever phrase it is that feels good and that lifts your vibration because ideally you want to be aware of the fact that when your vibration is flat or down or, you know, I'm not going to scale it or give it numbers or anything like that, but when you feel that your vibration's flat, okay, you're not then in that space of, you're not putting attention and energy into that space of, of, of being happy, fulfilled, content, or what it is, whatever it is in your life. So just through me journaling myself four times, you know, daily for 60 days, um, you know, I'm really aware of where things are happening. And, uh, you know, uh, this week something happened to me and I felt, I felt I was reacted, my wounded child started coming up and she was all hurt and things like that. And I was feeling angry, like this, 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 these emotions were sort of rushing through me. And I writing, so I just because I'm a writer, so I just started writing. And then after a while, I could acknowledge where I was at. Then I was like, okay, well, what is it that I want? What is it? Then I wrote a list, a very long list of all the things that I want. And it quickly turned around. So in the past, I would have found myself spiraling down, 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 down you know, into drama, <laughs> into despair, or what, whatever it is, you know, who knows what happens when it happens. But, you know, I, that, that just didn't happen. Like, I was able to, um, yeah, to keep focusing on what it is that I want. The cat's playing with my little thing. So aim to get yourself not in the lack mentality, you know. Get yourself into, you know, an abundant mentality or a healthy mentality, or whatever it is. Just, just think to yourself, you know, what would a person like that act like, say, think, feel, what would they do, how would they behave, what would they, you know, where would they go? And the other thing to <laughs> maybe be aware of is, you know, is, is watch your thoughts, like watch what you're saying, you know, in Australia we have the term no worries or I don't you hate that. So, you know, every single word, and I'm quite pedantic and particular about words because I do like words, um, you know, it has a vibration and it puts energy out there. So maybe, you know, there are some words or some phrases that carry a charge or a vibration that just aren't working with you. So it's just a really a case of tweaking things and fine-tuning things. And to me, that really is what life's about, you know. You just keep fine-tuning, keep tidying up your vibration, as Esther says. And that's what the tidying up the vibration is. So, you know, um, I believe that, you know, we... 
our, the way that we live is very symbolic in on mental, physical, emotional and spiritual levels. So physically, you know, we take things in, we eat food, we take it in, we experience it, we then assimilate it and we metabolize it. So we, and it's the same, you know, with our thoughts and our feelings, we take them in, we process them, and then with food, we, we let it go. So we, we eliminate and let go. And it's the same with, with things in life. So if we're finding that we're not letting it go, we're not taking things in, processing it, assimilating it, taking in what we want to take in, take in what's working for you and then basically let the rest go. That ideally wants to be the process on the mental plane and also on the emotional plane and spiritual plane as well. So, um, yeah, aim to bring in the good feeling. You know, know the difference in the charge of what, what it is that you're thinking. If you ever want any help learning to fine tune your thoughts, um, you know, the Psych K is very helpful for changing the subconscious beliefs. Because many times, you know, if we do a, a full body balance, then what can happen is, you know, we can use a statement like, I want to live. And then when we actually test your subconscious there, your subconscious is like, nah, I want to die. <laughs> or and I'm using a rather dramatic example. But, you know, sometimes we feel that we can have the belief on the conscious, but the subconscious doesn't have the belief with that. And often the subconscious can be the thing that tends to drive us um, in autopilot. So, you know, and the aim, I believe, is, is sort of to get out of default autopilot and to really get into the groove and flow of life, where, as I said, you're just being in life content, doing what you think, doing what you love, having a good time, processing things as they come up, and when they come up, you process them, eliminate them, and there's lots of practices and techniques that I use for that, and some of them are just so simple, so, so simple. You know, you just process it, eliminate it, and then it's gone. So the next time that trigger happens, you're just not triggered with it, because you're, you're cleaning up your vibration, you're cleaning up your act. So. My, in sum, summation of that, just be mindful of what you're thinking, be mindful of the processes that you're, that, that's happening for you, and just look where your energy's going. Like your life externally is just really a mirror of what's happening internally, and it's so easy to change that. Um, I remember processing some, some, some stuff with an ex-partner of mine that was affecting my daughter, um, and at the time, you know, I, I did a process, I let go of whatever charge that I had to in dealing with that. And it actually changed the behaviour of my daughter. Um, you know, so she wasn't aware, he wasn't aware, the only person who was aware of what I was doing was myself. So if things are happening into your life that you're not enjoying and you're not liking or, you know, things aren't working for you, then there needs to be some tidying up that needs to happen. And the same with the physical body, you know, if there's some ailments, some conditions, some diseases, or things that you're basically not happy about, or you're not active as what you want to be, then the work needs to be done. And the only way it can happen is with you doing the work. Because your life externally is really just mirroring what's happening for you internally. And the amazing thing, and it happens all the time, I see it all the time with the people I work with, especially with the workshops, you know, scenarios are there, and then once we clean that up, what tends to happen is the scenarios don't happen. You know, that person was, who was annoying you suddenly isn't around or, you know, the situation of work changes. You know, I was talking to a client this week. She said, just everything's changed at work. So nothing at work has changed. <laughs> What's changed is, is the charge and the, you know, the, the stuff inside of her. And it's the same for us all. So if things aren't working for you, things need to change and, and there are, as I said, there are simple and simple, easy, easy ways to do that. So happy to share with those with you. Um, happy for you to come and experience one of my seminars and workshops to, to look at that and explore that. Apart from that, I'm always putting my attention in seeing everybody who watches these videos in happiness and in health. Um, yeah, and I will catch you next time. You take care. Bye. Thank you.